who rest in peace. You know, I think the Huduma number um, uh, story debacle is one for me that hinges very much on issues of public procurement. And when you look at public procurement, so I agree with both Mark and Kipchumba earlier when they, when they referenced issues of procurement, there's always, always um, a blind spot or two or three where at the end of the day, that six billion shillings or seven billion or however much will eventually be spent will be an amount that we will come back to query, we will have Senate uh, reports, we will have probes and so on and so forth. So for me, number one, it's a public procurement aspect and the transparency and accountability that is required. The second and very important thing for me is data privacy and data protection. I don't have a Huduma number. I deliberately refuse to register and I can say, say for the record, I will not be going for this second round because as far as I'm concerned, if I'm going to provide my data uh, for this Huduma number, I need to know exactly what it's going to do for me and how it will be protected. Um, you know, it, when when uh, Mark says let us separate between IEBC and, and Huduma number, this is still part of the same government. And if you have an IEBC, a very, very important body that is unable to manage data effectively to the extent that we still have unopened servers, to the extent that an election was nullified in 2017. It shows you that across the board, we have a government that is not, um, uh, shall I say, uh, operating at the highest level of integrity when it comes to issues of data. As far as Tanga Tanga goes, and uh, saying that this will be used to rig elections, of course they would know, were they part of Jubilee in, in, in 2017? Do they not know exactly what happened to the extent that the elections were actually nullified? So they have every right to be concerned and worried because they have understood that over time, data can be manipulated, can be weaponized, can be misused, mismanaged to ensure a certain outcome. So whatever this Huduma number is meant to do, as far as I'm concerned, it is not something that has an immediate bearing, especially not when you look at the opportunity cost, when you look at the value for money, it does not have an immediate bearing on the lives of our Kenya. In fact, we're just we're still coming out of the COVID-19 crisis. At what point, at what point ever, did we hear that the Huduma number would be used to assess, identify, uh, pool together groups of uh, people who would then be eligible for assistance or support during the very difficult times that families went through? So as far as I'm concerned, what is this Huduma number about? Is it financial sector deepening? Is it so that we can all be harnessed into a particular space where eventually we will have to utilize certain services or utilize certain data pathways in order to access these services? These are all questions that are up in the air and the ordinary Monainchi will be manipulated into believing that the Huduma number is something good for them and the politicians will weaponize it to suit their own objectives at this particular moment. Thank you. Gloria, Gloria.